It is in here, and welcome back to Far Cry 4. Now, we left off where we completed the game. We killed pagan men. We pretty much destroyed his hair... Hair... Helicopter with a uh, grenade launcher. We scattered our mother's ashes. We're getting ready to kill two Royal Army soldiers and their dog. And they're all... Three of them are dead. And we're getting ready to take care of a bear as well. Give me one second. I right, take this thing out. Get away from me. Now, like I was saying, we we scattered our mother's ashes, and yeah, that was pretty much it. We killed Pagan, scattered mother's ashes, blew him up, and like you saw that cutscene with Amita. She's making her own people join the the golden path. Which is not what you really expected. Because, well, she's sacrificing her people to make peace later. If you watch that cutscene, that's pretty much what she said. So, yeah, she can... Definitely be a little harsh. So we're getting ready to take this outpost. And like I said, I got the chain takedown, so it's going to be a lot easier. Or, I just feel more comfortable with it. Because like I've been doing this whole time, I've been having a fit, getting really frustrated without having it, and it just makes things, I think, a lot easier. So there's a beehive up there. So we're going to start with the outpost. I should probably cut the music off, but I don't know if I want to leave it on or leave it off. It pretty much whatever works with me or works for y'all, it'll be the way it's going to be. There's a hunter over there. And like I said about them, they don't have a they don't have a um, a bar. A detection bar. So, yeah, you really can't... You can't just run around all over the place not expecting, you know, them to see you. Because they will see you in a, in a heartbeat. Just be extremely careful, because you never know where they are. Macy didn't hear that. Oh, jeez. Look at me go. Ah, oh, come on. Well, you're right about that. Look at this idiot. You come on. You hide behind a tree. Yeah, I know. I know what you're saying. You're hiding behind a temple. I don't give a sh. There we go. Done how easy that was <laughs> but no seriously it can be tough if you're not careful if you just you know take everything nice and slow everything will be nice and easy no. if you save me, they'll kill me. I'm just gonna do this uh, rescue or I this side I I'm just gonna do this side mission because yeah the side mission, I told y'all I was going to do the, the outpost and the bell tower, well, just the outpost in this video. The next video is going to be bell towers, the other side for Northern Cura is going to be outposts and bell towers. And then I'll finish it off with the side missions because, you know, it just takes up too much time. And, you know, it's just, it gets me, it's going to get me off track and I don't want to deal with, you know, worrying about this, worrying about that. But thank y'all for the ones that understand. I really do appreciate y'all. In fact, I really appreciate every single one of you coming by my channel and checking me out. I appreciate every single one of you that do that. So let's just reach the hostages and then I'll finish off the outposts. So, let's hurry up and get there. Every single side mission and, you know, outposts and bell towers is always fun to do. They're just so fun to do. 
<clears throat> don't matter how old or how many times you played it, it's just, it's still, still fun to do. I just love it so much. And if this music does get a little bit of a distraction, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm probably going to on the next one. Or the next time. Yeah, see, look. Love you, chain takedown. Love you. You know what? Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. It's getting a little distracting. Or, I'm afraid some of y'all won't be able to hear me if I do leave it on. Shh, be quiet. Nice ass. But still, you gotta be quiet. Watch. See? I can get creative here. And I love it. Alright. Next outpost is right here. The Rohan Breakfast. Co-storage. So I'll see y'all when I get there. Here we are. Two right there. A sniper. We're right there getting drunk. And there's a few more inside. So let's, let's be careful here. Uh, that's gonna- that cargo, you got lucky. If I wasn't near an outpost, you'd be- you'd be into ashes. There's two more. Something better happen soon. I'm going crazy. Yeah. Always complaining about things, man. Listen. Always. You know me, brother. I'm a hater, not a lover. <laughs> it's all enough to find our joke. Wow. Our that guy's crazy. I wish I could speak Chinese or or Hindi, whatever whatever kind of um, nationality they are. Who cares if Arjun that idiot probably ended up getting eaten by a tiger anyway. That's what you think. Oh! Oh my God! Son of a... Mm. This is exactly what happens when you get too cocky. Or when you try to get fancy, this is exactly what you get. Oh my god. I feel so stupid. But it's done. That's just my bad. That's just... That's, that's just all my fault. I know, I'll do that in a separate video. I'm just worried about the outposts. I want to take everything one at a time. That's probably what most people wouldn't do, but this is what I'm going to do. Hang on, burn that. Because I ain't really got time to be wasting my time trying to... Uh, huh. So, next one is right here. So I'll see y'all when I get to it. I already hear one. Yeah, he's picking an axe. Pickaxing us some, some uh pagoda. It's like a Chinese tower or something. Let the people see the old Kirat burn. Let them cry and tear out their heads. Years from now, they'll thank Min for dragging them into the light. You are a crazy person, you know that? What was that? Just people that say the most stupidest things and they end up getting wrecked for it. Like that right there. You're gonna thank me for dragging you out of the darkness. Just saying. Look at these idiots, they didn't even notice. Now there is a hunter, I know. Yeah, always be look out for him. Oh, 
Got him. Yeah, you ain't getting out. I'm just gonna let you know that right now. Careful. Got about got sighted there again. My brother is in the ah! Hurry up and kill him. And then drag him back. How many men does it take to guard an outpost? What? You can Yeah, it's like what? Yeah, what are you complaining about that for? It's just an outpost, man. Just Take this! Alright, I think this is the last one. I'm pretty sure. Gotcha. And that's how you do it right there. That's how you be stealthy. I mean, I know there are some other YouTubers online that, you know, just do all these amazing tricks and all. Like, do you really expect anybody to do that in real life? No. So, I don't really understand why people actually, you know, bother wasting their time even trying to figure out how to do that. Matter of fact, it's probably all fake. I'm just saying. But anyway, let's move on to the next outpost. Woo, don't don't crash into a tree like I did on the last episode. Cause sure as hell, that was funny. No, seriously, that really was funny. It happened twice in a row. That's what happens when you don't be careful and you just consider, you know, messing up even though you don't want to. That didn't make a sense, but I'm just letting you know. I'm just saying, be careful of what you do. It could affect you, it could affect the way you play, it could affect the way you act. Uh, it's just, it's just all part of life. Some things can have an actual effect on you. Some things can make you change as a person. I know I heard something that time. Down you go. I don't know why I'm going for this. But, get out of here and die. It's night time, so yeah, they are... They already be getting ready to go to bed. Let's drag you away. Wow, somebody that actually, you know, has dignity. That guy's falling asleep on the ground, even though he couldn't just fall asleep on the bed. He's saving it just for me, and hey, I like that. Just take it nice and slow. Just like Hitman, take everything nice and slow. Nice and slow is all you can think about. Turn that off, just in case of a surprise, and done. See? I can be good when I want to, but most of the time I will be good. So what's next on the radar? There's just four left. Shanoth Breeders. Alright, that one's next. So, I will see y'all when I get to it. Shanoth Breeders. Let's get ready to beat Shanoth. Deet, deet. Okay, just forget it. I'm terrible at these rhymes. Let's just take it. Guy over here shaving his dang head with a machete. 
Is this what they do in Kirat? I mean, geez, this ain't the Stone Age. Matter of fact, I don't even think Stone Age people even shave their beards. Whatever they could possibly do back then, I mean, they just... They wasn't scared to do any of it. Huh? That's it. Come over here. Can't believe he came and see me. I came and hop up there. Ah, uh, it's nothing. Drop him right there. Now be careful because there are two hunters in this village. There's one right there. Got you, put you down. This guy looks like somebody at the Stone Age right here. Wow. That's a good way for a tiger to die with its mouth open. You could put something in there. Okay, I'll stop. But I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to entertain myself here. But I know some of y'all are getting a little frustrated and all, but hey. Just accept for what I do, okay? I love doing this. Y'all should love watching me. And, you know, I just... Just be happy that I'm here to entertain y'all, because... I think there's one more. Either that or two more. I think it's just this guy! Undetected. Yeah, the very last guy... It, it's pretty much considered undetected because you know it's just him there unless all the alarms are destroyed it's not really a big deal my daughter please they've taken her i need help or you know what i'll help you out since you're since your daughter's missing and that's really sad oh, bless you we need to act fast the royal army came to our village and this is the only one though the next mission or the next other levels, yeah, I'm gonna... Or the separate videos, I'm gonna save it for the separate. Look our girls, my Mina included. We fought them, but they overpowered us. Look at me. taking these girls? I don't know. I can show you the direction they were heading on your map, but they'll be harder to find them with every second. We need to go. I'll go. You stay here in case anyone escapes and comes back. I'll be back with your niece or nephew. Everything will be okay. Always will be. That's the way the Lord made this world. Okay, y'all need to slow down. Because the roads in Kirat are terrible and you can never expect what, what what's to come. I hear a boat. They good? This okay, the civilians. Whoa! Definitely not gonna be doing with that, so adios, amigo. Some blood right there. Animal must have been dragged away and, you know, probably thrown in the water. Maybe that black water dragon that I killed in the very first episode. Or the second or third episode. Where I took one of the outposts and, yeah, killed a, a rare animal, a rare fish, demon fish. Them things are terrifying. That's why they're called demon, because they're, they're scary and, yes... They will kill you in a heartbeat. Okay, I gotta use a shotgun here. I'm gonna get rid of the LK. Because that gun's kind of not really serving a purpose for from this point on. Unless I actually need it for one of um, certain types of like missions like these where I have to use a missile launcher. Which I think there is for one in Northern Kirat. Got to kill these two with a shotgun. I have to be strong. Hold on, hold on. I love doing that. I love running up to them and stabbing them. Yeah, call me crazy. I don't care. 
want to have fun. <clears throat> Yes, I'm here. Don't worry, just keep your mouth shut and everything will be fine. Here he comes. It's me, alright. Knife to meet you! <laughs> he looks so depressed. Okay, just be qu just chill out and everything will be all right, okay? There we go. All dead. Okay, there's a bomb defuser while I'm at it. Yeah, if I see something on the right See what I mean? Like I send that at that one outpost. This is why I want to go ahead and stick with one thing before, you know, if I stick with another, it's going to get me distracted and I'll end up doing something else. But, you know, I, I think that's what y'all want to see anyway. I'll give y'all what y'all want. So, let's do it. Let's kick some army butt. See where this one's got us sending. No time to lose. Why should I care? Has destroyed all the ancient uh, well. she can find, but one Yep, yep, yep. That's a cool story. Nor's dead. She did not live a happy ending. She killed herself and she's burning in hell. And yeah, that's a sad way to go right there. Really is. Anybody who's experienced that, just let you know, I'm here for you. If you need anybody to talk to, just come to me and I will just make it feel all better. Watch my videos, and you'll just feel so much better. I'm just kidding. But no, seriously. If you need someone to talk to, I'm here. Because trust me, I've been there before. I'm sure we all have. And just, just... Just gonna go ahead and let you know everything will be fine. Always will be. Don't let anybody bring you down. Because there will be a time that somebody will. Just don't let that get to your head. I do YouTube for fun. And that's what makes me feel awesome inside. What was that? Here it comes. I might go to the arena to see if the masked man is fighting. The masked man? Huh. What? I should fight in the arena while I'm at it. That should probably be another mission. Just me fighting in the arena. That'd be a good way to finish the game off. Just fighting in the arena, reaching master difficulty. It would just be so awesome. It's just such a fun time to, you know, get away from certain missions that are just... <laughs> Okay, they have they haven't seen me yet. Don't what? They haven't even seen me yet. Okay, now they have. Oh God! He literally whacked me with this freaking gun. Run, RJ. I know it's painful and all, but you gotta keep moving. And serious, and literally, I gotta move, because otherwise I'm gonna get killed. And the mission will be fail. I ain't got time to worry about you. I gotta freaking run to this uh, mortar and complete it. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Well, I'd rather be dead than worry about a bomb going off. Because trust me, I'm sure we all would. I'd rather sacrifice myself for to save my own country. Than to see, you know, a bomb blow up right in my face. That's a bad way to go right there. Alright. Let's try this again. Let's just take it nice and slow. Well, that one I did, but... It's like one slash... One accidental... 
on an enemy can end up costing you. Because if, if one's alerted, they're all alerted. And yes, that is a pain in the butt. Gotcha. Oh, God. Whoo. Ah, uh, why are they getting alerted? Take it nice and slow. <laughs> I gotta keep everything nice and calm. See, the, see the, the problem is I'm rushing. And yeah, that can have a huge effect on how you play the game. Or how you handle things. Slow and steady wins the race, but not all the time. Most of the time, fast and... Fast and Furious is the, is the, uh, the main objective. Fast and Furious. I don't know how he didn't hear that. Because I know if you hit, like, the, the wall, he, they can hear it, and yes, it will, it can cost you. Oh, jeez. Forgot about that guy. Go. Let's drag him over here. Put him down. Defuse that bomb that's up here. And I pass that one that's way over there. God, look at all these bricks. Hits the name Brick Factory. Rohan Brick Factory. Because there's literally like all the bricks you can think. Or the that's probably like a huge amount of numbers of bricks probably the highest number you could possibly count and the last person is that uh, heavy gunner and I'll get rid of you in a second just let me defuse this bomb and then I'll escape all right here I come here I come y'all here I come that's from, that's from that show, My Crew. That show was really corny. I'm just going to let you know that. It was extremely corny. Okay, get his gun too. Because this gun is amazing. And all I have to do is escape the area. See, it doesn't really tell you like how far you are from the, from the area that you got to escape from. Just hope that you're out of it, and hopefully you're successful. So, well, I got me close to one of the outposts, the Shanath Training Ground. So, let's go ahead and go there, and we'll do what we do best. Take your names and write and checks out to Stealthy. But first, let me kill this hostage, and then we'll, then I'll fast, or then I'll um, cut to when I get to it. You're free. Walk away. Be free. You can thank me later. You can offer me some general such chicken, rice, whatever kind of food you guys have. I'll accept it later because I'm not hungry right now because I just had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I'll cut to when I get to the um, the area because all hell's all hell's about to break loose. Here we are. I think I just heard a bell. And there's two hunters, so be careful. And a heavy gunner that always walks on that bridge right there. Let me get him over here. Let's take it nice and slow. These guys are not somebody you definitely want to get sighted by. They got the exact same uh, gun they ha you have. And yes, they could kill you in just like a couple seconds. It depends on what difficulty you're playing on. Gotcha. So there's one right there, there. I saw a hunter. 
Look at this idiot messing with a target with a hunter nearby. I found a body. Gotcha. Put him down. You have seen him. He's incredible. That's it. Come on. Okay, you're next, Hunter. Whoa! I got you now. I got you now. I don't know what I don't know how the hunter sighted me. Like I said, they sight you. Well, they sight you, but there's no detection meter. It's just a. It's just a whistle. They just they just whistle. That's all. So two, three more. The Pratchin Gut School, the uh, the Open Hearts Clinic. And the uh, Bernalis textile. Textile. So let's get to him. So here's one guarding the entrance. Lower him over there. Could it be? Could be just a rock. That's probably what he's thinking. Not me. A rock. But he's got a death wish now. So hide him here. Perfect place. Trying to think of good vantage points. There are good ways I can flank them. Because one wrong move or one wrong path can end up costing you. There's two right there. I know there's two in here. Just line them up and gun them all down. I don't know what they're talking about. Probably just talking about killing civilians. Okay, one of them's by themselves. That was easy. Scared to be even more easy. I wish the border would open so that we could get more foreign food. I'm getting tired of the okay, Throw that over there. What the well, let's use this amazing chain takedown. I love it. I love doing that. There we go. Awesome. I love doing this, man. It's awesome. It's so fun. It's so freaking cool to do. Nah, not this video. That's gonna be in the next. I'll act quickly once I feel like it. But I'm gonna quickly get over to the Open Hearts Clinic. Now there's two, uh... Hunters and one heavy gunner. Try to get one of them over here. Hmm. Come check it out. Oh, he's making. He's, he, okay, he's going around. Just be careful, because some of these guys aren't tagged. You can accidentally run into one of them if you're not careful. Cause it, trust me, that's happened to me several times. As soon as I heard that whistle, I was like, oh god, he sighted me. I heard him get that one guy before he turns around. Or he notices something's wrong. Come on, let's go. Come on, AJ. One of them's in that cage, working on something. I guess just fixing up the cage. So here we go. 
Get out of here. A disgrace to the royal army. Or you're a disgrace to Kirat. Betraying your own people for a monstrous monster. That's already dead. Who's already dead and you're still worrying about uh, being, you know, his protection. Alright. I think there's just one more, maybe? Or maybe two more. Oh, he sighed one of them. Or he sighed one of the dead bodies. Which is not really a big deal. Because it's just this guy. It's just this guy, so it's not really a big deal. Yep, he's dead. Just move on, buddy. Now there's one more to do. And then that will conclude the South Curat Outpost complete. And it's the Barnelli's Textiles. So let's finish it off with the bang. Let's finish nice and strong. There is a dog here. Freaking missile launcher got got me a little hyped up because I wasn't expecting him. I was trying to listen to a conversation. There's a dog around here somewhere. There he is. I always kill the dogs first because they are like the main priority of the whole freaking outpost. They can easily, easily cause. Gale, what are you doing out there? Go, go, they go, can go, easily go, cause stress in this outpost. Okay. Yep, they're all freaking aware, distracted, and they have no idea where I am. You can't live forever. Just, out in search. just surprise every I single one of them. Check everywhere. Find whatever did this. You got it. Heading to the top. Okay. Where are you hiding, coward? Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm scared I'm gonna accidentally run into one of them. Come at me. I dare you. Quick, quick, Shit! Go! Like that right there. Call him for oh, no you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Hide. Or just run away. So much for being strong. There he is. Ambush them. Or, uh, sneak around them. They won't see me coming. We can take anything. And I can kill anything as well. Get down. And just be aware. Gotcha. Go check over there. You can't hide forever, Gale. Go check over there. I'm over there. I think he's over there. Or maybe he's over there. There's that noise again. Well, let's finish it off with the bang. So there's just one more thing we got to do before I end it. Take back a door. Which is, it's easier to take now because Nora's dead, so it means it's been weakened. There's less soldiers in there now. But let me, let me help these guys out. Because apparently I gotta do everything in this game. Nobody can help themselves. And look! 
just in case if I didn't get the um the chain takedown, I would have got it again. Which is kind of good, because, well, if you didn't really ex to see the last one, or how I got it, you'll see how I got it this time. But much what you have to do is retake the outpost. That's all you gotta do. Just make sure you survive, though. That's the most important thing. Uh, of course, I ain't got no ammo. Or no, or no bombs. Explosions. Explosions! Sorry, I can barely even talk, because I'm talking really fast. My god, will you just... Die for Christ's sakes, man! Open reload. They're just gonna keep coming in. Yep, they're retreating. They're retreating. This is pretty much how you get it. It's kind of an unexpected, like, takedown. But, you know, either you get it or you don't. That's what really pisses me off about this. And which I could see because, you know, the chain takedown's a really good takedown. And I can see why they can make it really difficult for some people. I mean, but seriously, unexpected? That's not really... It's kind of stupid. But at the same time, I like it because, you know, it's a very, very powerful hey, takedown. <laughs> Dang. I just found a freaking, uh... Stop, uh... Uh, s storage in here. Here I come, Bagador. Nor, how could you? Killed yourself. Just because you're, well, I ain't gonna go into detail. But, that's not really a good way for her to die. Especially for anybody out there that goes through this kind of stuff, like I just mentioned. Let's just be careful. That's all we gotta do. It's pretty much just like all the other missions. They said this one's a lot bigger. Or the, all the other outposts, it's a lot bigger. And there should be a lot more guys. But it's, since it's weakened, it's a lot, uh... Hang on. I had to scratch my ear. I had to, uh... There's just, a, there's just less guards and, you know, people you gotta worry about. See? There's not any- there's hardly anybody up here. Cause there usually be a sniper right there. Dang. That's- that's a harsh way to go right there. And someone already destroyed the alarm because he's so freaking desperate for, um, comfort. Just be ready. It could be a heavy gunner. Yep. And it's a lieutenant, too. Just be ready. Should I figure out how I'm going to do this? God, I can't wait if they didn't see me. That's right, go check it out. Check it out like all these other douchebags will. Dang, you're so badass. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, go check it out. I think that's all the alarms. Yeah, see, there would be three if I had... Well, take that back. Take that back, take that back. There's a heavy gunner down there somewhere. I hear him. Jeez, here he comes. Kind of sucks you can't do a um, cover takedown with the heavy gunner. That would be really cool. But, yeah, I can see that, because they are heavy.
Bullseye. Now, I think this is just the last one. Gotcha. There we go. Back, back a door completed or taken. And like I said, the side missions will be for another video. So, there's all the uh, the outposts taken in South Kirat. So that's it. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you on the next video for where we take the Northern Kirat outposts. And the later on mission, the later on uh, gameplays, we will do the radio towers, the radio towers for Northern, the Shangri La, finishing them up, the Yogi and Reggie, and. I think I just mentioned the Shangri La, yeah. And the side missions for the um, the bell towers and the outposts. Because, like I said, if I get if I focus on one thing, it's gonna get me distracted from what I'm actually, you know, going for. So that's it, and I'll see y'all then. Ian's out.